welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. Uh, up this week I've got something a little bit different. Um, and this is probably going to be a, a bit longer video. Um, this is a collection purchase. Uh, so there are a lot of cars in here. Um, I was able to pick this up thanks to one of the uh, Facebook consigners, uh, John Troy. Um, John has been a really good guy to deal with. And uh, he posts pretty regular over in the uh, Vintage Matchbox Live Facebook page. Um, and so he messaged me and he said, I've got this huge collection. Is there anything you're interested in before I post them? And so I was able to pick up uh, quite a few really great cars at really reasonable prices. Um, so up here I've got a uh, number 42 Studebaker. Uh, this is the Wagoneer. Um, it's got the sliding back in it. It's missing the dude and the dog, but um, you know, heavy play wear. But again, I think I paid a dollar, two dollars for most of these cars. This one looks like a army vehicle. It, so there should be quite a few different army vehicles in this uh, shipment. Um, I really have not gotten into collecting a lot of the military vehicles because. The war gamers out there are buying them, and that drives the price up. Um, other collectors, a lot of people do military only, and that drives the price up. And so every time I found one, they, they seem to be just kind of ridiculous. Um, so I haven't really gotten into them. So this collection had uh, quite a few of the military vehicles. Some of these I have. Um, this is a Ferret Scout, and I think I do have one of these. Mine is missing the driver, uh, so getting one that had the driver intact was nice. And then uh, this one is one I don't have. This is the general service lorry. Um, and so there were quite a few different military vehicles in this collection, and I knew that those were a lot of holes in my current collection, so I told John, I said, I'll take all the military vehicles. Um, and again, when I can get them for a dollar, two dollars a piece, um, I'm gonna buy in bulk. Um, this one, I, I've got, I don't know, five or six of these probably now. It's missing the wheels and tires. Um, but this is a little different shade of green than some of the other ones I have. Um, and again, nice to buy, especially when I'm doing uh, restorations, uh, even if it's just for parts. Um, this one, I have a lot of the older ones of this and uh, I've got the variation that has the blade. This one is Sans Blade. Um, but it was nice to uh, pick that one up as well. And then another, uh, this is the Volkswagen. Um, I just did a restoration of these for a viewer. Um, and I have a couple of the uh, of this type, um, but I didn't have one. I, I don't think I have one with the uh, transitional wheels or the chrome. Uh, wheels in them. So that was another nice model to pick up. So let me grab a few more here. Micah, Mac. This one looks like a race car. It is a race car. Turn it over. What's it say? Matchbox series made in England oh. was the was the say. number 52 BRM. British racing model. Okay. So this one is the uh, Thames Trader, the compressor truck. Um, I have a couple of the older ones of these, um, and I this is actually a later model, the black plastic wheel. I don't have one, um, and usually the later ones are more difficult to find, so I've really kind of held off looking for one of these because I figured out ah, it'll be easy to pick up, and then in about the last year since I've gotten real serious about collecting, I haven't been able to find one. So this one was there. It looks like all the little bits and pieces are in it. Um, again, heavy play wear, but a buck, two bucks a piece. I'm not gonna complain about condition. A um, Couple more. And these things, I, I can't pass up a race car. Every time I see it, I gotta pick one up. Another I scout. can open it. It's missing the guy and the wheel. It's supposed to go here. Yeah. This is, ah, this is another hay, hay wagon. Uh, so this one, again, not great shape, um, but I've got one of these that is mint. Uh, the paint on it is really, really nice, and it's missing the wheels, and it's missing these uh, original racks. 
And I ordered a few of these racks um, from one of the reproduction supply people and uh, was really not pleased with them. Uh, the, the plastic was kind of flimsy and it was not the right color of yellow. Um, so this is gonna be uh, some parts to finish out one of my more mint models. Looks like a steamroller. It is a steamroller. Mine is uh, a front loader. It's a number one. Mine is a front loader. It is a front loader. So this one, it seems like this particular model, there are a lot of different variations in it. Um, different color combinations, different driver combinations. Um, and uh, kind of fun to collect the different variations. This is the uh, Aveling Barford tractor shovel, uh, the number 43. Um, and so I thought, you know, I, I think I've only got one of these in the current collection. And with as many variations as there were, I wanted to try to see what else I could pick this up. This is uh, Aveling Barford Road Roller. Yeah, that's another construction vehicle. Um, I ordered one of these, and, and I think it may have been covered in an earlier mailbag. And uh, when it arrived, this front wheel was uh, broken. Um, the seller was really great about it, uh, refunded my money on it, but um, still left me the hole of trying to find that model. So this is a replacement for that. Um, let's see, what else we got? Come here. Come here. No, I got you one, right here. It's like, uh, this is a... Uh... Sinton Tank Mark III. More military vehicles. All right, here's another one. So we are slowly building an army. This is the uh, Saladin Armored Car. And so I think I've got one of those. Looks like it's maybe missing the little rod goes out. The gun, I think, is broken yeah. off on that. It's also, uh, turn it over. Yeah, it's missing, it's missing the, the tracks. Now, the tracks on this are harder to restore um, because you can't just tuck them around or tuck them in. Um, you actually will have to drill and, and pull the, the rivets in order to be able to replace the treads on that. Um, and missing missing the treads and missing the gun, that might actually make a, a nice, fun little restoration to try to do. Um, and then this one I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, I this Any of these steering models, these seem to be more popular cars. And uh, I do not have one of these Mustangs yet. Um, again, heavy play wear, about two bucks a piece. I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, and this uh, fills a hole and might be a fun uh, future restoration for me. So we'll see on that. A Couple of uh, older models. Um, so these don't come up as often. And I told John, I said, anytime you get any of the metal wheels, um, definitely save them for me and uh, this is uh, one of a few that were in this shipment in this box and uh, I'm pretty excited about it I've got two or three of these um, but I've got some of the later models with the uh, plastic wheels um, and this is an orig original with uh, the metal wheels so I'm excited to get that one this one's a Scram Hill breakdown truck so that's the military vehicle tow truck. Cool. Wow. This I looks like see. a Coke truck. Yeah, so my Coke trucks uh, keep multiplying. Um, I have quite a few of the uh, older ones that have the hollow bottom and uh, just recently picked up one that has the solid bottom. And I believe uh, the one I just picked up has uh, black plastic wheels. So this is the solid bottom in the gray plastic wheels. Um, which again, it fills a hole, it's a variation I didn't have. Um, and this one, even though the truck is rough, the, the decals actually look pretty decent. Um, so that's, uh, that's another nice find. Happy to, happy to have that in my collection. All right, we got some more still. This one looks like some kind of delivery van, maybe. 
service ambulance. So more military vehicles. <clears throat> All right, so here's another uh, Saladin. Um, so this, you can see, I've got two models here, but this one, the gun is broken off. This is typically how you'll find them. Um, and this one actually is in remarkable shape. Um, it's really, really nice and has that gun intact. It is bent down a little bit, but I hesitate to even try to do anything with it uh, because I, I think the chances are just too great that I will end up breaking it. So um, happy to get that one. And our army grows. All right. What do you got, Micah? Police car. Police car. What kind? Mercury. Mercury. So it's got the blue light. That's the more common. All right, and another scout. A scout. Yep. So I think I might have enough pieces, maybe between couple of them to get a complete set of wheels um, and definitely have the driver which is the hardest part. All right this one's rattling a little bit. I'm not sure what that's. Well this is another ambulance. Yeah that one's got the decal. Yeah both of them. Aha uh -huh, the Pickfords. Holy cow. What is that? Ah, so this look, I think I know what this is. Um, Hello. Oh, it's got, uh, it's got like a bench and it looks like there's, I don't know if you can see down inside of there. I'll try to focus this. Um, it has like shelving and storage racks on the inside. I think this is maybe a matchbox that might have been customized to use on a train set layout. Um, Cause the, the tailgate looks like it's been glued up and painted silver. Um, and it's definitely pretty mint condition on the outside here. So um, I, think, I think that's, I mean, it's just a guess, but I think that maybe that was uh, a standard matchbox that was customized for a, a diorama or a train layout. Cause it definitely has some custom interior pieces in there that didn't come with the original model. Oh, looks like some pieces. Okay, so designs. that, these are actually um, something that are pretty difficult to find. Um, and I'm really excited to find a set of these. Fence sign. So these are traffic signs or road signs that would go with your your matchbox set, um, and I think this is a complete set of all of the different uh, road signs in there. Um, these were, I think, a part of a major pack, if I remember Can right. So like here's a duplicate. Yeah, there might be some doubles in there. Roundabout. All right. Another one of those. There's another tipper truck. Looks a little more, looks a little better in so, shape. Yeah, I mean, you can really tell the difference now between uh, something that's original and uh, pretty pretty nice and one that has the heavy playwear. But these are both uh, metal wheel models. And uh, again, a lot of times when I buy from a consigner, I'm not real picky on what it is because I'm getting well below retail pricing when I'm buying these. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be telling you guys all my secrets because now they're gonna get inundated and it's gonna be hard for me to get stuff again um, so this one I'm super excited about uh, for those of you guys that collect out there you know how hard this model is to find um, and it's got just a part of the original decal on the front most of it's missing um, but it's got the the numbers on the doors um, and an intact tow hook and you know how desirable these uh, these little Volkswagen Beetles are uh, to find, and again, usually when I pick these up uh, or when I when I find them, if if you can even find them, um, these are not two and three dollar cars. These are you know, twenty and thirty dollar cars, and um, that's uh, 
that's kind of one of the nice perks, you know, a lot of these that I'm, I'm getting um, heavy play where I'm willing to still pay the two, maybe three dollars for those uh, because occasionally I come across some real gems like this. Um, this is an exceptionally valuable car. I got a wonderful deal on it. Um, and thanks to John for uh, coming through and getting some of this hard to find, harder to find stuff um, in his uh, want, lot. Can I have my Oh, boat with the trailer. Oh, no. So this one, um, it, it seems like all the boats are pretty hard to find, uh, but this is a variation I didn't have. Uh, the trailer is not in great shape. Uh, it's missing, the, the little ring on the front is busted off of it, and um, it's, it's uh, definitely seen some heavy play wear. Um, but the boat looks like it is exceptional. Um, it has the little motor on the back. A lot of times those are missing or broken. Um, and this is a variation that I don't have at all in my collection. All the boats I have are much, uh, much newer. And so that fills a hole and uh, it's a nice piece. Uh, and I will look for a better trailer to replace that. Your one race car. Another race car? Yeah. I'm telling you, I love the race cars. I can't, Green one can't leave stripe. them. And neither one of these uh, race cars in this set have the drivers. Um, and that, that's a problem with a lot of my cars. Um, but again, the reproduction drivers cost as much as buying a whole car with the driver in it sometimes. All right. Yeah. I know what this is. Ooh. So this, I was kind of saving for the end. Um, but this is one of the really exciting pieces that I was able to pick up in this, uh, this collection. Um, this is a king size, I believe, York Freightmaster. Um, and I've, I've kind of gone on a little run here recently in trying to get um, some of these semis and these semi sets. Um, and this one has some pretty nice original decals. It's, uh, I would say it has light play wear, nothing too bad, nothing too crazy. Um, both of the doors on the back are intact. Wheels look pretty decent. So obviously it's been listed through a dealer or something at some point in the past. I did not pay $28 for this. Um, a tractor. But uh, it's super nice find and excited to get that one. A tractor. And this, um, this has been long awaited. I think this is the last tractor that I needed to have one of every kind of uh, matchbox tractor that's available. Um, for those of you that collect, you'll recognize this. This is one of the uh, original five models of matchbox. Um, this is the, I think it's a Massey Ferguson um, tractor and has the little dude intact. He's not missing his head. Uh, it's a common, uh, problem with these um, and it's play worn but you know at this point I think this model is probably close to uh, 70 years old um, a, so it's in pretty good shape so this one I thought this was really interesting um, and I've done a couple videos in the past uh, on variations or knockoffs um, and as my coke truck collection has been growing um, I've even, I've gotten a couple overpaints that uh, the, the kid painted blue. And so when I came across this, um, it is the it's similar, uh, or the same uh, concept, but it's a Pepsi truck. And it's blue and it's got the little Pepsi Cola in the back. Um, it does not have any labeling on it. Um, I thought maybe it'd be a Tootsie toy, but usually the Tootsie toys are stamped on the bottom and this one doesn't here to have any stamps or labels. Um, I do recognize these wheels though. I have, uh, I have some other models that have this same style of plastic wheel on them. And so I need to do a bit more research and figure out what that is. Uh, if any of you guys recognize this, please leave it in the comments below and uh, let me know what I've got here. Um, like I said, I just picked it up because I thought it was a, a 
an interesting um, variant or, or knockoff of the uh, the Coke trucks. Here's um, a Volkswagen. Looks like the back opens. Yes, so this is another, um, again, for those of you that collect, you know how hard to find um, these Volkswagens are. And uh, this has been a hole in my collection for a long time because every time these come up, they are exceptionally expensive. Um, and so I've just kind of waited and figured, well, you know, maybe someday I'll find one that has a decent price on it and I can pick it up. So uh, another great find um, from John. Uh, I think the only thing that um, is an issue on this one is just a little, uh, a few little scratches up on the top of the roof there. Uh, but very valuable car, very hard to find, um, very desirable and happy to pick that one up, especially uh, at the price that I did. Um, and that now fills two big holes with the Volkswagens in my collection. There's a boat. So we got another boat. Um, and this one, this was one I was not sure. Um, I, I'm not positive that this is even a matchbox. Um, but again, I don't have a lot of the different boat variations. And uh, even if it was a knockoff, I thought it was a cool little knockoff. I mean, you see, compared to this other one, it's, it's pretty close. Um, and so, uh, nice to have that one in my collection as well. Here's another tractor. So this is the uh, Ford tractor, um, number 39. Is, uh, is there anything in there? Is that wheel in there or is it just missing? Okay. They are the same. Yep, we got two of those now. So I've got one that uh, has a little child customization. So make sure he brought his home at the end of the play date. I got one uh, original without. All right. Let's see what else we've got here. There's a tractor trailer. It's green. Might go with this tractor. Okay, got a snowcat. I've got quite a few of these now. Um, this one is always special to me because this is one of the ones that I had when I was a kid, one of the ones I got from my dad. Um, and every time I see one, um, I always want to pick it up. All right, this one I'm very excited about. Uh, this is a, a more difficult to find. Um, this is the uh, Rhea Express. Um, it is a budgie model. It's not a matchbox. Um, but I kind of view some of these as like a, a knockoff ride of the, the Pickfords. Um, and this one has some really nice decals on it. Um, kind of cool little variation to collect. Like I said, sometimes I like to pick up these little side models as well. Um, so I don't know if I'll hang on to this one. Uh, this one might be something I would trade for as well. Um, and I'm always open to uh, trading with other collectors if they're looking for something and they got something that I need. Got another hay wagon. This one looks like it's not in as nice a shape. This front uh, front fence is a little bent on this one. And it's missing a few of the tires. What'd you open, Mac? Oh, this is the uh, Woolsey 1500. Um, again, this was a hole in my collection, didn't have one of these. Um, this is the uh, gray plastic wheels. Um, pretty nice shape. It's, you know, a little play worn, a few little high edge wear and um, some nicks and scratches, but overall, pretty decent shape on that. You have one of those, right? I do. So, uh, this is the Ever Ready. Um, I know you already have The ERF truck. I do have one. 
The one that I have though is really rough. Um, this is in slightly better condition. Um, I think mine also has uh, different style wheels on it. And this is the older, uh, the gray plastic. And the decals look really, really nice on this. Um, so, pretty good shape. Hey, you found it. There's our other wheel. What was that missing from? The, the Fordson the tractor? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, and we got another little John Deere. Um, I am finishing up uh, the restoration videos. I just did um, a full original resto on one of these as well as a custom on one of these. So um, I'm doing the voiceover and the audio on it right now. As soon as I finish that up, uh, this video will post uh, the restoration of these. Um, but this one, man, that is really nice shape. Um, doesn't look like it has much of any wear on it. Um, it's got all the original wheels and tires. And again, at $2 or $3, I can't even buy the reproduction tires for that price. Uh, so a couple really nice models at a really great price. All right, so. All right, and the last thing that I got from John in this collection uh, acquisition um, is something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, for those of you that know, collecting some of the uh, the major packs, the gift packs, um, some of the king size models, uh, to find them Whoa. original in box is next to impossible. Um, Can I open it? We are going to open it. I just have to be very careful because it's very old. So when this came up. Um, I knew I had to have it, and uh, I did pay up for this, um, but I think anybody who knows these models uh, knows exactly what this is worth, and I was so incredibly excited just to have the opportunity to buy it, um, and so this is a mint original inbox Fruhoff Hopper Train, um, that's the M4 Major Pack. And uh, as you can see, just a beautiful original survivor model. Um, I don't think it's ever been played with um, or really even out of the box. I think this was probably uh, display only. Um, and I, I don't think it's ever seen the playroom floor. Um, so beautiful original piece. And uh, the box, you know, the box itself is um, a little rough. But again, considering that this is probably 60 to 70 years old, um, not in bad shape. And you know, the box is, I, I always have to tell myself, the box was there to protect the model. And so if the box still looks, you know, this good, um, then the model really is gonna be That's exceptional. A big, big one. And you can see the, uh, the original price sticker on there too, $2. I definitely paid more than $2 for this model, um, but Really super excited to come across this, uh, to have this in my collection and be the next caretaker of it. So uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, again, I, I knew this was gonna be a longer video, but purchasing the entire collection uh, through John was uh, super exciting to me and wanted to shoot um, just a beginning to end, kinda getting that whole new collection, being able to go through all those new pieces, so. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.